All right, so I got the Kurt tow hitch installed. I went to VIP and got a receiver real cheap. Um, sorry if I yell randomly because, well, crazy traffic. But uh, I got the tow hitch installed. And I got all the wiring done up. I ran the positive line, the 12 volt line, along this cable here. I'll turn the flash on. Can't have too many zip ties. I got it secured all the way, all the way along here, all the way down underneath this. All the way along here, Under there, and then it's, let's see, oh, if I can get it, there's a, yeah, right there, you can see it going in through that big rubber grommet, that was a nightmare, this is a two person job for sure. Ugh. Got it running through there. And I got it zip tied back here to the ground. And then running over, zip tied there on the battery. And then got it connected here. And while I was at it, I took the terminals off, cleaned all the connections, nice shiny metal. I did it over here to the chassis ground. That's all shiny metal, so. I got good conductivity. This is where the 15 amp fuse is. Also, on a side note, if you want to disable traction control on a 2010 Toyota Yaris or 20, you know, 2007, 8, 9, this model, uh, if you want to turn off traction control, just remove the ABS fuse because there's no, there's no button to turn it off. It turns off vehicle stability control, the ABS, and traction control. All you gotta do is pull that because I kept getting stuck in the snow. But anyways, back to the main focus of this video. There are no guides to doing an install like this for this car. And you have to use one of these universal splicing ones because they don't make the plug-in style for the hatchback only the sedan I didn't want to risk getting something that had the wrong connections so for the blinker which is right here you want the yellow wire to go to the green wire with the yellow stripe and I'll put all these in the video description now for the red wire, which is the brake, right here, green wire with white stripe. Now for the brown wire, uh, brown is tail. That just that's just the solid green wire. And for the, the ground, I cleaned some of the paint away here and put it right to the taillight housing. And for the right turn signal, to get a better view, I ran it through this um, part of the unibody here, right out the hole, and right over there. And it's the same color wire as over over here the green wire with the yellow stripe i'm gonna wrap some electrical tape around the wire there as it goes through the hole and around there as it goes through the hole to keep keep it from chafing and just to prove that it does work I'll set the phone down real quick in 
got this old trailer. It's got really old lights. It's going to get upgraded tomorrow. These are... <laughs> they're old, but they work. Hit four ways. That one's working. That one's working. So, yeah. It works. <clears throat> so, I will put all the colors, color coding, in the description. And it's, it's not that difficult of a process. Um, I gotta find a spot. I'm thinking like right here for this. It comes with a little adhesive pad. I'll probably just put a screw in there as extra measure. Um, the hardest part of this job was shoving the wire through the um, rubber grommet through there. Yeah, that's a two-person job. That was the hardest part. You want me to hit the brakes and stuff for you? Yeah, hit the brakes. I wasn't able to do that. Yep. Right flanker, I'm sorry, left flanker? Yep. Right flanker? Yep. Yep. But yeah, that's everything you need to know for a wiring harness for a trailer on a 2010 Yaris. Or any Yaris that looks like this. <laughs>